So the first step is to try DX11 or DX12 in the launch option. Make a right click on the game, select properties in the launch option, type in dash D3, D11. Now you can close this, launch the game and then check. If that does not work, again go to properties. This time you can type in dash DX11, launch the game and then check. Still not working, try dash DX12, launch the game and then check. Still not working, remove this, follow the next step. Now the next step is to when you launch the game, you can select play with direct X11 and then you can click on play and then check. Still not working. The next step is to rename or delete the config folder. When you rename or delete the config folder, all the saved settings will be lost. Now for this, you can open file explorer, go to this PC, open C drive, now open users folder, now open your username folder, now open app data. If you don't see app data at the top, click on view, select show, put a check on hidden items, open app data folder, open the local folder, now open ride folder, save, and here you can see config folder, make a right click. You can rename this folder. Once you rename it, relaunch the game and then check. Still not working. Uh, the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver. So if you have Nvidia card, go to Nvidia website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. Select your graphic card, your operating system, click on find. Now on this page, you will see the latest GeForce game ready driver, whichever is the latest GeForce game ready driver click on view and then click on download and once the download is complete uh, you can click on this file run this file and click on yes to allow click on ok agree and continue select custom option click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation and then click on next after the clean installation restart your computer and then you can relaunch the game and then check still not working the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in Windows search box and then click on graphics settings, click on add desktop app, go to the game installation folder. So wherever the game is installed, in my case, the uh, the game is installed in this location and then you can select the game exe file, click on add. Once the game is added, click on the game, select high performance, you will see your graphic card. Again, sorry. You have to add both the exe file. There are two exe files. So go again, click on add desktop app and then open this ride folder binaries win64. This is the main exe file. Select this, click on add and scroll down, find the game in the list. Once you find the game, click on the game and then select high performance, relaunch the game. Desktop users, make sure that you connect your SDMI or display cable to the dedicated graphic card slot, not the motherboard slot. Now the next step is to run the game from the game installation folder. Now for this make a right click on the game, manage, browse local files and then make a double click, launch the game from here and then check if that does not work. Open the ride folder, binaries, win64, make a right click, go to properties, go to this tab, put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game. If that does not work, you can try Windows 8 over here, hit apply, click on OK. If that does not work, you can even try Windows 7 and also try disable full screen optimization, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. Now still not working in that case, when you put a check on all these boxes, still not working, you can uncheck these boxes, hit apply, click on OK and then follow the next step. Now the next step is to install Visual C++ file. Now for this, you can open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website, scroll down here, you can see Visual Studio files. You have to download this x86 and x64, run this exe file. If you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see install, click on install. Download this x64 file as well. Again, run this exe file. Again, click on repair or install. And once it is installed, you have to restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can check. Still not working. The next step is to try debug mode. For this, you can go to desktop, make a right click, show more option, NVIDIA control panel, and go to help option and put a check on debug mode over here and then relaunch the game and then check still not working then restore the settings in nvidia control panel so go to manage 3d settings global settings click on restore yes and then at the bottom right you will see apply option hit apply and then relaunch the game and then check still not working the next step is to use intel driver and support assistant now for this you can go to the official intel website and then once you go to the download it, install it, and then you can launch Intel driver and support assistant. Uh, this will scan your computer. If there is any update, you will see download option. 
and once the download is complete you will see install all option so you can just download everything and then install everything once installed restart your computer and then you can check still not working the next step is to disable or enable the steam overlay for this go to steam make a click on the game select properties in the general tab turn off the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game and then relaunch the game and then check if it is already off you can turn it on and then relaunch the game and then check still not working close all the overlay application like if you have discord running uh, you can go to discord settings turn off overlay if you have nvidia app running in that case you can go to nvidia app and then go to settings and turn off this nvidia overlay over here turn it off and then close all the overlay application and then check do not overclock set it to default close all the overclocking application like if you have msi afterburner reva tuner or any kind of overclocking application running close it and then check close all the third party application and services next step is to lower down monitor refresh rate so for example if your monitor refresh rate is 240 hertz you can try 120 hertz or maybe 60 hertz disconnect multiple monitor try launching the game on single monitor and then check next step is to disable onboard graphics now if your computer has a dual graphic card make a right click on the start menu go to device manager expand display adapter and over here you can see in my case it's intel integrated graphic card make a right click disable device and then you can relaunch the game and then check once you're done playing the game you can enable it make a right click and enable the device now the next step is to roll back graphics card driver so if the latest graphic card driver is not working so after you select your graphic card and your operating system on this page you can click on view more version and you can maybe try the older graphic card driver but when you go for installation make sure that you put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation and then once it is done restart your computer and then you can check still not working the next step is to update windows to the latest version for this you can open windows settings go to windows update or update in security and then click on check for updates once all the updates are installed over here then restart your computer and after the system restart you can check still not working the next step is to try power saver mode now for this type in control panel in windows search box go to control panel hardware and sound and then go to power options over here in my case i have only balanced but if you have power saver you can select power saver relaunch the game and then check you can even go for balanced or high performance but first of all try power saver relaunch the game and then check still not working enable or disable hardware accelerated gpu scheduling now for this you can open windows settings or you can simply type in graphics settings in windows search box click on graphics settings and then over here click on advanced graphics settings if hardware accelerated gpu scheduling if this is off turn it on and then relaunch the game you might have to restart your computer once and if it is already on you can turn it off and then relaunch the game and then check next step is to allow the game exe file to antivirus program so if you are using windows security go to privacy and security windows security virus and threat protection scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection click on it click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow add an allowed app browse all apps go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder select the exe file again browse all apps you can open right binaries win64 select this exe file now launch the game if you have any third party antivirus like avast not on bit defender mcafee do the same thing add both the exe file now the next step is to verify the game files now for this you can go to steam make a right click on the game select property go to install files tab and then click on verify integrative game files once the verification is complete launch the game next step is to update the bios so go to your system manufacturer website like if you have a dell computer go to dell if you have a lenovo go to lenovo whichever brand you have go to their website select your model number go to driver space download the bios and install it in case of laptop make sure battery on your computer is more than 10 percent and the ac adapter is connected to the computer when you update the bios next step is to increase the virtual memory to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings over here and then under advanced click on settings the first setting and then click on advanced tab and then click on change over here you have to uncheck the box and then you have to select the drive where the game is installed make sure that you select the drive where the game is installed and then select custom size and we, for initial size is 1.5 multiplied total ram for maximum is 3 multiplied total ram so you can check total ram in windows settings go to system and then go to about option and over here you can see in my case it's 16 gigabytes so you have to calculate as per your ram 
And if you face any problem, we can always revert back the settings. So do not worry about it. So for in my case, it's 16 gigabyte multiplied 1024. That is total total RAM in megabyte. For initial size, it's 1.5 multiplied 1.5. That is 24576. For maximum size, it's total RAM that is 16 multiplied 1024. In my case, 16384 me megabyte. Then three times multiplied three. That is for maximum size, it's 49152 in my case. And then you have to click on set. Set is important. Make sure that it hits set and then click on OK. And then OK. OK. Now relaunch the game and then check. If that does not work, then type in VR Advanced System Settings again. And then click on VR Advanced System Settings. Go to Settings over here. Click on Change uh, Advanced tab and then click on Change. And then select System Manage Size this time and then click on Set. Set is important. Click on OK. Click on OK over here. Hit Apply. Click on OK. OK. You will see Restart option. Restart your computer and then check. Still not working. We will revert to default. So you can type in View Advanced System Settings once again. Settings. Advanced. Change. And put a check on this box. And then hit Apply. Click on OK. Follow the next step. Now the next step is to skip this step if you are not able to launch the game. If you are able to launch the game, uh, you can try window mode. So launch the game. Go to options. Go to graphics. Now if this is set to full screen, you can switch to window mode. And if this is set to 4K, in that case you can try 1920 into 1080p. Or you can even lower down more. And then you can apply the settings and then check. You can lock the FPS at 120 or you can even try 60. So I will just keep it at 60. And in my case, the lumen is off. Over Overall quality. Now, if this is set to like ultra, you can set it to high and then check. If that does not work, you can even try medium and then check. Now go to advanced settings and you can try mediums, medium settings and yeah and then apply the settings and then you can check the performance. Now still not working. Uh, the next step is to now the next step is to unplug all the external devices which you are not using like if you have OTAs, wheel, pedals, any kind of USB adapter connected, disconnected. Disconnect extra controller connected to the computer. Disconnect external keyboard and mouse. Like if you have like internal key in case of laptop, if you have any external mouse connected, you can disconnect it. Laptop users can use the external mouse, but uh, like desktop users can use external mouse. But if you have the laptop, you can use the internal uh, keyboard and mouse. And if you have undervolted, you can either remove the undervolt and then check. The last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives. So if nothing is working, Uninstall the game. After you uninstall the game, go to the game installation folder, delete the game folder, restart your computer, and then install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to D drive or E drive, try to install the game to C drive. If the game is already installed to C drive, then try installing the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.